In Mykolaiv, daylight revealed the extent of damage from the overnight missile strikes. Emergency workers in this southern Ukrainian city discovering more civilian targets as they searched for residents in need of help. Buried under the rubble of this apartment building, an 11-year-old child. Digging the boy out took six hours. He later died. As NATO defense ministers met for a second day in Brussels, deliberating on how to deal with Russia and better arm Ukraine, President Volodymyr Zelensky asked the alliance for more help saying Ukraine has only about 10 percent of what it needs for its air defenses. We want to have a possibility to close the sky. Our capabilities are not enough. Germany opened up the way to this possibility by providing the first RST system. The United States of America confirmed its support with NASAMS. We would like a lot for this support to be much bigger. At the conclusion of the meeting, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg pledged the alliance's full support for Kyiv and described a comprehensive assistance package, including drone equipment and drone jammers. The big question, though, how NATO would respond to the use of any nuclear weapons by Russia. We will not go into exactly how we will respond, but of course uh, this will uh, fundamentally change the nature of the conflict. It will... Uh, it will uh, uh, mean that a very important line has been crossed. Uh, even any use of a smaller nuclear weapon will be a very serious thing, uh, fundamentally changing the nature of the war in Ukraine, and of course that will have consequences. In Ukraine, many wonder what exactly those consequences will be. But it's not just the nuclear threat Ukrainians are concerned about. Air raid sirens once again rang out across the country, including here in Lviv on Thursday. Many are worried that Russia will increasingly target civilian infrastructure. Temperatures are already dropping, and the prospect of a winter without access to electricity is leaving residents very much on edge. Mohammed Jumjum, Al Jazeera, Lviv.